Phase Change Unit Lesson 1.3 Investigating the Molecular Scale Activity 2 Considering Molecules and Phase Change In the previous lesson we discussed the appearance of substances at the macro scale during everyday phase changes. These key concepts summarize what you were able to observe with just your human eye. 1. A solid holds its shape and does not take the shape of its container. 2. A gas has no visible shape and fills its container. 3. A liquid flows and can take the shape of its container. Having knowledge about the differences between the phases is not enough to help us solve the mystery of the methane lake on Titan. We cannot travel to Titan to see if the methane now holds its shape or if it is invisible. We need to understand more about what, what makes the phases different and what happens during freezing and evaporation. These details can al cannot always be observed with the human eye. We will observe substances on two scales. Macro scale, substances that can be observed with the human eye, like liquid water. Molecular scale, molecules that are too small to be seen with the human eye, like a water molecule. Scale is a word that scientists use when comparing the relative sizes of objects or substances, such as the size of a molecule compared to the size of a human, consisting of molecules. Molecules are very tiny units of matter that we cannot see with the naked eye. The term naked eye refers to our ability to observe substances without the help of instruments. In contrast, we need tools such as microscopes to help us see molecules. Molecules are very tiny units of matter that we cannot see with the naked eye. In this unit, we will be studying substances at both the macro scale and the molecular scale. Vocabulary. Scale. The relative size of things. Molecule. A group of atoms joined together in a particular way. Considering both the macro scale and molecular scale will help us explain what happened to the lake on Titan. Considering the scale of an object, processes, or events is useful in many areas of science. For example, if a scientist is studying a galaxy in space, she must consider how large the objects in the galaxy are. If a scientist is studying how a landform has changed over time, he must consider the scale of changes that happen within a day and those that occur over long periods of time and what the relationship between the two is. The word molecular is used to refer to molecules. We will gain more experience with phase change by observing substances in different phases at both the macro scale and the molecular scale. Since we cannot directly observe phase change in the methane lake on Titan, we will learn about phase change by observing the most common liquid on Earth, water. Safety guidelines for science investigations. Be sure to review these as you conduct your activity. I will fill each foam cup with hot water. Then you'll place the plastic cup on top of the foam cup and observe any changes, phase changes, that occur. You can use the provided magnifying glasses as needed. Then you'll answer the questions. Students, complete the hands-on activity. Be careful around hot water and heating elements. Avoid splashing and protecting your eyes as needed. We couldn't observe water at the molecular scale on this activity. What did you observe at the macro scale? You might respond, droplets of liquid water or mist appeared on the clear cup. Even with the hand lenses, the water molecules are too small to see. We will think more about the molecular scale later in this lesson. What changes in phase did you observe? What is your evidence? You might respond, evaporation, liquid to a gas, or condensation, gas to a liquid. Water drops appeared on the clear cup, which must have been water vapor condensing to a liquid water. Water vapor must have come from somewhere, Liquid water in the foam cup evaporated. What evidence did you see of water in the form of gas? You might respond, mist, steam, or water vapor rising from the hot liquid in the cup. If water condensed on the side of the plastic cup, it must have condensed from water gas found in the air. Did you see mist coming off the hot water? What do you think the mist is? Is it a gas? You might respond, we saw mist, but that cannot be the gas because gases are invisible. Remember that gases have no visible shape. Gases are usually invisible. 
if water in a gas phase is invisible, what do you think must be happening in order for us to see the mist? You might respond, the gas condensed into droplets of water. Is there any other evidence of water or gas here? You might respond, not directly, but if water condensed in the side of the plastic cup, it must have condensed from water gas found in the air. What do you think caused the water to change from liquid to gas, and then back to liquid? What do you think would need to happen in order for the water to freeze and become a solid? This question will help us investigate whether the lake on Titan evaporated or froze. Investigation question. What happens to the molecules of a substance when it changes phase? You've thought a lot about the macro scale appearance of phase changes today and in the previous lesson. Now we will investigate phases at the molecular scale. You will now have the chance to think about what happened to substances at the molecular scale and draw a model that shows your predictions. You'll draw what you think happens to water molecules at the molecular scale of each phase. Don't worry if you don't know what the molecules look like. You can use simple shapes to represent the molecules. It's okay if you aren't sure if you're of your ideas yet. This is an initial model, and you are just starting to think about molecules. Make a model showing what you think might happen to water molecules at the molecular scale of each phase. End of activity.